you were nine when you got cast. I mean, that must have been just incredible to get thrown into this whole new world. Yeah, it was. I mean, I knew nothing about the film industry, how cameras worked, how anything worked. So it was an amazing experience to just learn so much from, you know, all the contemporaries around me. And also, you know, the adult actors that we had on that film set were like the creme de la creme of, of you know, the acting industry. So. That's You're the thing, right. like, you weren't anyone if you if you weren't in Harry Potter and you were from the UK at some stage, lousy on the ones I that know, weren't. Yeah. Like, I feel really bad for some people. I was like, you didn't make it. But, <laughs> but then, Bonnie, your life really took a difference because you were so young obviously and you were doing this acting in the, some of the biggest movies did you not want to then pursue go more and more and more into acting or are you like no this isn't for me uh i guess i was always so i was always someone who liked to understand how like all the everything works and for me you know when you're acting you're obviously in just one part of the filmmaking process there's obviously like pre-production development writing and then the post-production as well as the shoot so I was always someone who was really fascinated by how all the little parts make a whole which is kind of why I ended up being more fascinated at this moment in sort of directing and writing um, just because you can kind of be there through the story. Oh, well, that's really interesting. But uh, you went, because you went after Harry Potter into film school, of course, learning probably a lot more about acting, but then you've decided to become an activist. Um, is, that, is that something that you're throwing all your passion into or is that alongside the directing and writing that you're kind of doing all of it together? Yeah, definitely alongside. I mean, having, you know, spent my time now writing my book, Go Gently, off the last two years, it's been pretty much only that. Uh, but now as I come out of that and the book is out, like I begin, you know, my brain's already kind of onto the next project and thinking about, you know, the films that I want to make. So I think everything informs each other. You know, they're all the same thing. They're all kind of storytelling. You know, advocacy work is basically about, you know, seeing something that's out there that needs amplifying as a message and connecting it to, to more people so that there's more awareness around the issue like the climate crisis and because Bonnie you're very very involved in this you know you you know you're a member of Greenpeace you've been on the boats you've been monitoring you've got monitoring plastic in oceans what sparked this passion to try to do something about the destruction of our planet yeah, I think like millions of people across the world, we're becoming increasingly aware and concerned about, you know, our safety on this planet in terms of a livable one. And not only us, but, you know, all living species. So I think it's just a natural concern of many generations. Um, and I think I you know, could see it's very challenging to come and change policy right away or make big brands and corporations make better decisions so we as citizen consumers can do the right thing for the climate crisis. So I saw this gap where, like, you can either wait for things to happen, which take a lot longer, or you can also start implementing changes and shifts in your habits in your day-to-day -day life so that you feel like you're doing your bit and you're doing the best you can to, you know, leave the world um, a better place for younger generations. Yeah, no doubt about it, because I mentioned this yesterday, that my daughter is five and they're already learning about recycling and climate change, <laughs> which is a huge change, I think, from what, what I remember whenever I was that age. But you have this new book, Go Gently, and it is just about practical steps that people can do to, to try and make you know, the environment a better place. Uh, for, yeah. for you, what sort of practical steps really stood out for you that really people can take away with them? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think everyone has unique interests and access to what they want to do and just different lifestyles. So I really try and communicate in the book that it's best to find one thing that speaks to you. But like for me, the first sort of way in I saw was I was really worried about the amount of plastic pollution that was ending up in our seas and rivers. So I started looking at trying to lower my use of single use plastics. And I started in the kitchen and cooking because I love to be in the kitchen. I love, I love to cook. So someone else might have an issue and maybe intersect that with the space in the home that they love so I kind of stress that so for me things like that was you know learning to store my food better so I'd get longer life out of it uh, shopping more locally and therefore seasonally um, and then you know trying to buy less packaged pre-made stuff and making more things from sort of like whole ingredients you do, you know, in the book, you kind of break it down. Thank you for when it feels really overwhelming sometimes. It's really nice to have these very practical steps. And also, you have a very captive and, and an audience that do adore you. You know, so is that kind of nice to go, OK, I can kind of influence people to do something good? 
yeah, I mean, it's an amazing opportunity and privilege to have the, the platform I do, you know, through Harry Potter and people being so in love with that. They've always been so supportive of all of us and what we've gone on to be interested in since. Uh, and it was really those encouraging moments that made me think that, you know, there was an audience for the book when I was sharing little bits like I share in the book on social media before. And I was getting really good sort of communication and feedback, people giving it a go, wanting to learn more. So that was really the you know driving force for me to think that there was an audience for the book. Uh, so, yeah, it's exciting uh, to, to have that opportunity to share. With Absolutely. Well, listen, Bonnie, we know you're just off. You're a world tour at the minute back from America. You've been all over the UK as well as thank you so much for talking to us of course your book is called go gently actionable steps to nurture yourself and the planet ahead of course world earth or earth day on the 22nd of april that's when it was launched it was launched last last month bonnie thanks a million oh, for yeah. chatting to us we'll talk to you later <laughs> best of luck with the book thank you so thank much, you so much. Ah, yeah, that's right. past, isn't it? Of course it's it is, yes. I was looking there, I was like, don't read what's directly in front of you. We are going to do an Anchorman it's someday. A, just off. to see if he says it. Just to see if he does. <laughs> San Diego. San Diego. San Diego. Uh